in the words of the judge, the Hatton Garden heist stands in a class of its own. For one, its scale of ambition. Two, the detail of the planning. Three, the level of preparation. Four, the organisation of the team. And five, the value of the property stolen. The Easter Bank holiday raid on these vaults got away with £14 million worth of gold, silver, diamonds and jewellery. But in the end, all but one of the gang got caught. The romance of one of the most audacious heists in British criminal history is rapidly fading. The gang of daring thieves now resemble a decrepit bunch of old men who, instead of retirement in Marbella, now face their last years in a state-run old people's home with bars. The ringleaders jailed today are 75-year-old John Collins, 67-year-old Terry Perkins and Danny Jones, aged 59. Collins got seven years. His white Mercedes late-night CCTV-recorded recce round Hatton Garden got the flying squad on his trail. Your role, wasn't it, was to be the driver and the lookout. No comment. You were in communication with the people that were down in the vault via um, handheld uh, radios, weren't you? No comment. Career criminal Terry Perkins, another of the old guard, also got seven years. What specialist uh, skill set have you got which made you valuable on this job? No comment. Were you a driller? No comment. Were you the person that could deactivate the lift shafts? No comment. The alarm systems? <coughs> no comment. There was also seven years for Danny Jones. He was the one who squeezed through the drilled gap to ransack the safe deposit boxes. We know that the vault wasn't accessed on the first night. No comment. So what went wrong? No comment. Was it you that messed up? No comment. It was your role, wasn't it, to um, get through the hole? No comment. Sentencing of the so-called governor, Brian Reader, was postponed. In his 70s, he's now handcuffed to a hospital bed, having suffered a stroke. Not a word did he say during police interviews. There's one male in this image, 2209, 41 seconds, and he's got um, a hard hat and he's got uh, gas on the back of his high visibility jerkin. Mr. Reader, is that you? Tell me if it isn't you. So while Reader awaits his punishment, his lieutenants got theirs today six years for Carl Wood, seven for William Lincoln, known as Billy the Fish, and plumber Hugh Doyle received a 21 month suspended sentence. He left court a relieved man with a plan to appeal his conviction for his role in the heist. And uh, just want to spend some time with my family now. And I've uh, got boilers to fit in North London. So uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, I've known Ken for quite a few years and it, it's literally just sucked into it, literally. Just sucked into it. Little more of what was stolen has been recovered since this discovery in a North London cemetery. Danny Jones took police to where he hid part of his share under a memorial stone but only part, and it bought him no credit when it came to sentencing. And then there's Basil, the one who led the team, the one whose identity remains a mystery, and the one who got away. There's £20,000 for the person who gives him up, and £9 million worth of property still to be recovered. <laughs>